What is going on Diablo 2 fans? Dobrunsky here. In today's short little tutorial video, I am going to answer one of the most frequently asked questions that I get during my live streams, and that is how do I save and exit and recycle a new game in Diablo 2 so quickly? Honestly, it is very easy, a super simple trick, and I am going to break it down step by step for you guys. So let's jump in. <laughs> All right, guys, so the answer to your question, how do I save an exit game so quickly? I use a hotkey macro. So for those that don't know what a macro is, it's uh, essentially you're assigning a single hotkey to execute a series of commands on your computer. Now, I happen to have, you can see right here, I have a K70 RGB Corsair uh, gaming keyboard. And with it comes the Corsair utility software. And that is what I use to execute the macro now for those that don't have a Corsair gaming keyboard like if you have Razer or Logitech they're going to have something very similar um, it might not be exact to what I'm showing you in this video but you should be able to follow along and then for those that are watching that are going to ask well hey I have a laptop or I don't have a really fancy gaming keyboard can I still set up this macro you absolutely can but you are going to have to do it through a free to use software that is called auto hotkey i've left a link for it in the description below so you can download it and set it up as well as a beginner's guide tutorial to setting up and using auto key software i have not played around with it at all but it is going to be what you should use in my opinion if you don't have like a gaming keyboard like i have so the execute command list of this macro is very simple it is literally two buttons enter and h that is it and then you assign it to a specific key on your keyboard it really doesn't get any simpler than that now there is definitely a lot more like advanced ways you can take advantage of macros like they can open programs uh, type of things do a whole series line of like executed commands this is very simple but uh, the cool thing about this is you will never accidentally reset your maps uh, and you'll save a lot of time because it's just quicker recycling the games in my opinion than hitting enter nature or using your mouse to go you know double hit on character and then enter l so it's just really nice when you're farming really short runs and like you're cycling them over and over and you can kind of shut your brain off hit the hotkey and then it'll continue to recycle your games for you and uh, you'll never <laughs> like reset your godly pit map or something by accidentally hinting uh, enter and end because the N is right close to the H, right? So it's just what I like to use. So basically with this particular software, I'm just hitting create an action. And then this is gonna set up my macro number two. And then I hit the record button with delays and keyboard events checked. If you want to have like mouse clicks or whatever, you just have to check these off and add them into the executed command. But we hit record, so that's blinking. We're good to go. Then we just hit enter. And it's going to automatically have uh, enter and then it's going to pause and then release the key H. So press the H key, release the H key, or sorry, pause, release the H key. And then I hit stop record. So that is the sequence. It's really that simple. And all I have to do is assign it to a key here, right? So any key that I want to click on. So depending on how you have your hotkey set up, you can set it to what you want. I actually use, like I use the number key enter, I just kind of reach over, uh, take my hand off the mouse and just touch it. It's just kind of what uh, I've kind of gotten used to. Uh, you can set up for anything you want, but I guess I'll just do it for like just the zero button just for sake of illustration purposes. But there you go. That is the macro setup. And if you want to, I believe there is a way to change the name. It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to delete it because I already have this hockey macro set up. So that's how you do it. It's so simple. Uh, and then I'll just show you guys a couple examples of cycling the game back and forth. So you can actually see like why it is so good compared to hitting enter in H or just double clicking with your mouse. All right, so now we have Diablo 2 loaded and I can show you guys this hockey macro in use. So this really benefits single player more than Battle.net. But uh, with that being said, if you didn't know what a macro was before, you can take advantage of one. You can do a more complicated uh, command execution, something that's a lot more intense than enter an H. But anyways, so when you click single player, there's kind of two different ways you can cycle your game. So you can double click the character and then click on help. So you can imagine over a long duration of playing the game a lot, there is going to be the chance 
you can mess up, right? You can easily click Nightmare instead of Hell and reset your maps. And that sucks if you roll something like a really nice LK map and you're doing thousands of lower Kurost runs. Resetting your map sucks, especially if you spent hours hunting for one. I'm just going to quickly run to Act 4 because I want to show example runs later. So if you don't want to use your mouse, there is the option of single player hitting enter, which is going to bring up the select difficulty screen. And then you can uh, enter H for uh, hell difficulty. Now, if you look at your keyboard, anybody's keyboard is the same. Your end button is close to your H button. So there is the chance again of slipping up. You hit the wrong key over the course of again, thousands of runs. You can potentially reset your maps and it sucks, right? And that's where the hockey macro comes in hitting that single hockey will execute the command enter an H excuse me and you can recycle your games with never having to worry about losing your map so I'm just gonna show it in action now we'll just do like five times so mouse do a couple times quick so I just single player loads up the screen and then I hit the macro enter an H right so that's a slow example but if you do it really quickly enter H cycle the game enter H that's all from hitting that macro and no matter what you do, it's impossible to screw up that macro because it only does one command enter an H. So as long as I don't click like multiple times, like with my mouse, I won't uh, hit the wrong one. So there's one click single player, bring up the screen. doesn't matter where the mouse is. Enter H recycle the new game and it's going to really benefit you when you do multiple runs. So just for example purposes, Doing a lot of triangle farming lately. I'm actually really enjoying it. The Zealer. The really sub 30 second runs, especially this is player one difficulty. Usually I do it on players three, but get the idea. We do a really quick run. Check for some loot. Duel. ID later. Teleport back to town. Save and exit. Macro and new game. Boom. And no matter what you do, again, I've said it numerous times, you will never, ever accidentally reset your map. And it's really nice to just shut your brain off and hit that uh, macro to recycle the new game as opposed to either double clicking and then running over to hit hell with your mouse or hitting the enter and H method. I think this is so much better and so much more efficient. Ralrune, Ralrune, or Jewel. It is literally the answer to question that I get asked all the time. So it's so simple. Save and exit. Mouse click macro. Save and exit. Click macro. One more time. Save and exit. Mouse click macro. Well guys, there you have it. That is the hotkey macro that I use to cycle my games. So hopefully you guys found this information useful and you can put it to more practical use. No more resetting your maps by accident, just pure efficiency recycling those games. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys like these short little tutorial style videos. I can do more of them on how to stream Diablo 2 on OBS or kind of basic OBS setups if you guys want to get into streaming yourselves. Uh, but other than that, if you could throw a like on this video, uh, share it and even consider subscribing if you're new to my Diablo 2 channel. I post new weekly content and stream on a consistent basis. So there's always new stuff to look forward to on this channel. So your support with a subscription would mean a lot. And I also personally want to thank each and every member of the Big D gang. Uh, I really do appreciate the support, guys. You are helping me work towards the goal of streaming full time. So thank you so much for the support. Hope you guys have a fan freaking tastic day. And I'll see you on my next Diablo 2 video or live stream. Peace out.